Okay, CBS recently announced that there will be a Gibbs origin story TV show entitled NCIS Origins. It stars Austin Stowell, who I've only seen in Dolphin Tale and Dolphin Tale 2, which I just thought was funny. He will be playing the iconic Leroy Jethro Gibbs. Mariel Molino as Layla Dominguez, Kyle Schmidt as Mike Franks, Tyla Abercrombie as Mary Jo Hayes, Deanny Rodriguez as Vera Strickland, and Caleb Foote as Bernard Randy Randolph. Executive producers include Mark Harmon, who played the original Gibbs, and his son, Sean Harmon. Sean Harmon has appeared in seven episodes as young Leroy Jethro Gibbs. He is also apparently the, like, main idea guy behind this series. He wants to dig into the backstory of the boss, and this seemed like a good opportunity to find out why Gibbs turned out the way he did, and, like, who influenced him on his journey to becoming who he was. This is interesting, because I feel like we got a lot of Gibbs' backstory throughout the series, so I'm interested to see, like, what new content they will come up with. This show is set to premiere on Monday, October 14th, 9 p.m. Eastern Time and 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Paramount Express Press, which looks to be a legitimate CBS website, has two different times for like the first episode and the second episode, which I think must just be like the pilot episode, and then it's a different time after that. That was incredibly confusing for me for a moment, and I think I've just been out of the TV show watching game for too long. The story is going to take place in 1991, which if you look at some behind the scenes photos, the uniforms have NIS on them. The switch from NIS to NCIS CIS happened in December of 1992. This was for the purpose of a reorganization, which included establishing a civilian director of NCIS, who then would report to the Secretary of the Navy through the General Counsel of the Navy. Anyway, the show is probably going to cover that change, which is sort of interesting to me. The show will be narrated by Mark Harmon, kind of a nice touch to include Mark Harmon still in a role that really changed his life. Gibbs at this point is a newly minted special agent at the fledgling NCIS Camp Pendleton office. Here is where he will quote, forge his place on a gritty ragtag team led by NCIS legend Mike Franks. Of course, we know Mike Franks from the original NCIS show. I guess I am interested in seeing more of his story and Gibbs' story from previous years. The premiere episode will apparently have happened after losing Shannon and his daughter Kelly, who was apparently played by Mary Mouser. I did not know that. With that being said, I fear that there will be a romantic interest pushed between these two. If it really is a moment to see Gibbs mourn the loss of his wife and child, I do not need a romantic interest immediately. Great stories can still exist without a romantic interest, at least in the beginning. Please. I wonder if they're gonna try and get the show on for like 10 years. It would end around the time the show with Mark Harmon and CIS started. Or because it's called NCIS Origins, I wonder if they'll try to do like the origins of other characters throughout the series as well, if this does well. I think that'd be kind of interesting. There is a total of one official trailer released by CBS for this upcoming show. The marketing is interesting and like there was a video released on the NCIS Verse Instagram of Austin Sowell talking about fantasy football which is just an interesting marketing campaign. Maybe it's like, meet Austin Stowell. He's cool and plays fantasy football. I'm not really sure. Something that came up a lot in my research is the recent cancellation of NCS Hawaii. A lot of the comments on the Insta post and YouTube are like, bring back this show. Why'd you get rid of this show? Just replace it with this show. I will say I haven't watched NCIS Hawaii. Honestly, the most NCIS content that I've really interacted with is the original NCIS show up until the point that Ellie Bishop leaves, which honestly, there's like different eras of NCIS, like kind of marked by like when the different female leads are there. Like I know there were people who only watched when Caitlyn was on the show or when Ziva was on the show and really like I only watched up until Ellie left the show. But anyway, people seem to have some real opinions about bringing back NCIS Hawaii. I did see a comment that talked about moving the NCIS franchise into the future, like moving it forward rather than looking back, which I understand. When I first saw this TV show, I was like, what are we going to cover that we didn't cover in the 20 years that Gibbs was on the show? People are complaining about the casting. I'm not super bothered by that. Honestly, I enjoyed like Solo, a Star Wars story, and a lot of people had similar complaints about casting and that kind of thing. So if there's a new enough and a good enough story here, I'll watch it. Sure. And I'll enjoy it. It's a little bit hard for me to see the relevance of the show at this point, but I guess I look forward to the show proving me wrong. Let me know what you think about this upcoming show in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.